pick up yourself viewers and subscribe as well boy right now things real hectic in the six camp we hate to be the reporter of bad news to all the fans but it looks like things real grim right now as we can see hey, yo, Toby. Cayman 6 is been locked up Tyson locked up what's going on with the six camp right now let's take a listen to our friendly host B Money and Hero here to say about the situation in today's update. The downfall of the Trinidad Six Gang was a long time coming. This notorious gang, known for their involvement in drug trafficking, extortion and violence, had been a thorn in the side of law enforcement for years. But it wasn't until recently that their empire began to crumble. One of the main reasons for their downfall was the relentless efforts of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service and the U.S. Department of Justice <laughs> looking into their links Jeez. and connections with West Bank CEO Nyron Erickson and Associates. All of that going on, boy? Behind the scenes, when things looking good on the outside, sometimes it's rotten on the inside, you know? The system was preying them for a long time. They launched a series of operations targeting gang members and their illegal activities, leading to multiple arrests and the dismantling of their criminal networks. Additionally, the cooperation of the community in providing information to law enforcement played a significant role in bringing down the gang. Internal conflicts within the gang also contributed to their downfall. Power struggles opposing gangs like Fourth Generation and Rasta City and in fighting weakened their organization and made them vulnerable to law enforcement operations. Furthermore, increased cooperation and intelligence sharing between Trinidad and Tobago and international law enforcement agencies such as the Feds and Interpol helped to disrupt the gang's operations and cut off their supply lines. In the end, a combination of law enforcement efforts, seven raster rivals, community cooperation, and international collaboration led to the downfall of the Trinidad Six Gang. Although their reign of terror has come to an end for now, the fight against organized crime continues in Trinidad and Tobago. The downfall of the Trinidad Six Gang can be attributed to various key factors. Firstly, increased scrutiny and pressure from law enforcement agencies, both locally and internationally, played a significant role. The involvement of United States federal authorities and British Virgin Island Police in investigating Nyron Erickson, an associate of the gang leader Tyson aka Six Dan, prompted a closer look by the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. This led to intensified efforts to dismantle the gang's operations and apprehend its members like Tyson and K-Man Six. Additionally, conflicts and war with seven Rasta Fourth Jenna and losers of member like J-Man Six, Fats Boy, Wacko Dan, Rebel Six, Mod Dog, and Fari Dan likely contributed to its downfall. Tensions with rival gangs can weaken the cohesion and effectiveness of a criminal organization, making it more vulnerable to law enforcement intervention. Furthermore, the gang's rivals, the Seven or Rasta City Gang, plus community resistance and public outcry against the gang's illicit activities may have also played a role. Increased awareness and cooperation from local residents can aid law enforcement efforts in targeting and dismantling criminal networks. Ultimately, the combination of external pressure from law enforcement, internal conflicts, and community resistance likely led to the downfall of the Trinidad Six Gang. These key factors, when combined, significantly weakened the gang's control and ultimately led to its demise. Thank you for subscribing to 10 Best and Money B, your co-host, along with Money G for this episode. Like, share, and don't forget to vote in the community section of this channel. I'm out for now. Remember to have a good day.